Hello and greetings. On this video, I'll show how you set up a inexpensive NTP server where you could use it on an entire network. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I actually have my terminal open right here. So let me actually uh, zoom in a little bit. So, whoops. So let's go ahead and log in. So SSH pi and then the IP address where I'm at. Now if you're doing this on your local computer then obviously you don't have to do uh, SSH. All you would have to do is just log into the computer. Um, I, I want to say it was 126. One, okay so we're logged in. So now you can see I, I actually called it uh, pi-ntp. Um, so let me clear this. Um, the very first thing you want to do is actually install the NTP service itself. So it's going to be sudo app-get install NTP. Okay, that's fairly simple. We're going to let it run. Press yes to that. Okay, so once that installs, let me go ahead and clear this again so it's not so cluttered. The next thing we're gonna do is actually edit our NTP config file. So sudo nano, I'm gonna be using nano. You can use VI if you want, but I'm gonna be using nano. Uh, it's C and then the NTP config file. And what we're gonna do is you see this part here okay we're gonna we're actually going to is just comment that out okay oops okay and what you want to do is actually uh, well it's up to you I'm gonna be entering the um, the NTP pool from uh, North America for the NTP.org. So I'm just going to be pasting that right on there. Um, and iBurst, what it does, it tells it to automatically go out and pull the, the time from the server itself. And then the other thing I also like to do is I like adding this fudge. Uh, so it actually, and it just boils, points back to itself since the time is already being dragged out. Once we have that, those settings, we're going to go ahead and save. Okay, that's actually saved now. And we're going to go ahead and, and restart the actual service. So sudo um, itsy uh, init.d and then uh, which service, the NTP and then restart. Okay, hit enter. And that's gonna restart it. If you have an error, if you have a, if you, something went wrong, you definitely won't get it okay here. So you, you wanna make sure you get the okay. okay. Once that's done, let's go ahead and pull. So NTP, uh, Q as in queen, space dash, and then P as in Paul. And you can actually see it. It goes out and it pinged them and we're done. The very last thing we're gonna do now, at, actually at this point, we are done with this NTP. I can actually move this aside. And I am going to actually bring over a Windows 10 machine that I have running. Which is in the middle of doing updates, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, that just drives me nuts that they keep on doing updates, but whatever. That's neither here or there. So on this Windows 10, which we can see that it's actually active, um, I'm going to point my my time, my internet time, to be pulled from my server, my little Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna go here to uh, set time and date, and internet time, and you can actually see it. It was just synced about 20, uh, yeah, about 20 minutes ago. Um, so I'm going to click on 
change and I'm going to change this to the local IP to that Raspberry Pi, that 101.126. Um, for whatever reason, when I click on update, at my, on if I don't click OK first, it tends to always give me trouble. So I OK that, I go back to change settings, and then when I update this, you'll actually see that it was actually requesting it, and it, it was successful. So at this point, the Raspberry Pi is the one that's keeping track of the time. And you can see here, this computer is automatically synced with and the local IP address. If you're going to be doing like a DNS name, obviously you could set up your DNS to, to do all the routing. But again, all that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.